introduce to you the MediaTek Helio X30. And the Helio X30 um, is based on a 10 nanometer processing node, and it's a 10 core design, and it's and we have a tri-cluster architecture. So the tri-clusters are we have two A73 cores, we have four um, A53s, and four A35s. So with this tri-cluster architecture, we package this under it's called our core pilot technology, which is MediaTek's proprietary core pilot technology. Basically, this is. Uh, intelligent task scheduler um, that schedules tasks based according to the loading that comes in. Um, because we have the three clusters, it, it gives an extra flexibility um, to send the right power to, um, to, the, to the, basically to send the right number of cores to, per, to perform the task. Here we see that we have, the X30 has excellent power efficiency. We're running a side-by-side -side demo of the X30 here versus the Samsung Galaxy S7. And this is running on our as a competitor flagship chipset, and you can see that on uh, for, for these different. This is actually connected to a power meter that's measuring power live, um, and you can see that for di these different apps, um, the MTK MediaTek X30 um, phone actually has a much lower power consumption versus our competitor. So in terms of milliamps, so we have 446.2 versus 103.6.9. So we have a 57 percent, 56 over 50% um, power efficiency um, over our competitor. Helio X30 also has great thermal performance. Here on this demo we see um, on the left hand side is uh, X30, on the right hand side is Samsung Galaxy S7 and this is a live measuring the temperature. So this has been running since 8 a.m. in the morning and you can see that when we measure the temperature, you can see on the left hand side is X30, right hand side our competitor, and look at the look at the temperature difference. 41.9 degrees versus 36.5 degrees. So there's a big gap. So our thermal performance is excellent here. And over here, so this was a live demo. Over here we did a pre-recording um, of the thermal performance. Um, and we are showing you that on several different apps, um, we have excellent performance. So elephant stress is a benchmark. So basically, we're saying that we have we have um, scores really high elephant stress scores, yet at the same time maintaining a better thermal performance. So so 41 versus 32, and web browsing, as we saw there, you know, so over say 15 or 15 minutes of time, um, we still have better. Um, thermal performance. Helio X30 also, we are, we're the first in the world to um, support HDR, 4K HDR10 decoding. So you can see on these comparisons, so this is the X30 and this is the iPhone 7. So traditionally, our competitors do HDR 4K decoding using software. We, we do it using hardware, which is more power efficient. So look at this. Um, if we pause here, okay. Look at these differences. This is a this is a um, HDR content, and and this is this is SDR content because the iPhone cannot decode HDR content. And look at the sun. This, this overexposure of the sun over here, and comparing to this, this is. Um, X30's HDR content, you can see the, the rays and the, all these different colors. Something that's even more obvious is this. Look at the stars. Look at the contrast and the color, the vibrancy of the colors. So here we're showcasing that the Helio X30 has um, a solution to save power consumption from the screen level. So uh, we all know that the screen is one of the most power consuming parts of a smartphone. And here, again, in this demo, we have, we have um, a connection to the power meter, and we're measuring the power meter here. We're measuring the power consumption here. I have a toggle on and off of energy smart screen. So when it's off, you can see this is a this is the power consumption level right now, and when I toggle it on, you can see that immediately over here, power consumption drops. You see, so so as so 
basically the idea is you can't tell the difference, right? You can't tell the difference when it's on or off. So viewing quality is preserved, yet power is reduced. Here we're talking, um, well, I'm going to introduce you in Magic ISP 2.0. This is the newest version of, the, of our ISP. And on, for, on, on the X30, we want to uh, improve the performance of auto exposure. So basically, when, you, when there's a situation of when you're moving indoors to outdoors, or when, you, when, you're, drawing, when you're drawing your camera or your, your phone from your purse, and you're going to take a spur of the moment shot, you want the instant exposure to be great. So let me switch this off. We're comparing X30, Samsung, and iPhone. And when we switch, when we change the lighting conditions, the X30 performs better than the competitors in terms of it can grab the auto exposure quickly. Um, and this is because we have a dedicated hardware CCU dedicated to doing this task. Here we're introducing you the dual camera zoom. You say this is the Magic ISP 2.0 and we have a wide and tele zoom. Here on the left hand side is X30, right hand side is iPhone 7. And you can see that at 10 times zoom, look at the noise level on the iPhone 7 compared to ours. So we have really crisp images at high zoom ratios. When we have, because due to our great temporal noise reduction technologies.